Let's talk about pianos. Especially if you're confused or overwhelmed with what to buy as a beginner. Maybe I can help you to save some time or money, maybe. Oh, by the way, I'm saying I don't know. Overall, there are two categories, acoustic piano and digital piano. Well, actually, there are another one, hybrid piano, which is part of acoustic piano feel and combined with digital piano function. But I will still put this hybrid piano under digital piano category for this video because it still needs power. Acoustic piano, such as grand, upright, studio, console, or spinet pianos. The sound comes from a hammer hitting a string. Digital piano, such as keyboard, synthesizer, MIDI controllers. By the way, this needs electricity. And the sound comes from a speaker. So, as a beginner, what kind of piano should I get? Acoustic, digital, acoustic, digital? I recommend digital. Why digital pianos? Because it's way more affordable to begin. But you can say, oh yeah, I can get some free acoustic piano from Craigslist or oh, some of my friends, they are moving. So they said, oh, if I want, I can get the free piano. But think about that maintenance fee. Getting the free acoustic piano means really free. Probably, especially through the Craigslist, we don't know what the condition is. It might need a lot of repairs. So you will have to pay more than you thought and also moving from there to here. Also even moving from this place to that room. It's not easy to move because it's a heavy guy. It's a very heavy guy. But the digital piano, no regular maintenance fee for digital pianos, especially compared to acoustic piano. You know, you have to call piano tuner or technician regular, you know, it's not free. And here's my story. Many of my students' parents, they ask me when they, you know, start piano or when they feel to upgrade their piano, then they ask about what should I buy? Then I say, especially for real beginners or still beginners, then I say digital piano because we don't know. They might not like piano. They first, for a couple of months, they were really into piano, so we practice and they use piano or keyboard pretty a lot. So parents feel, okay, you're doing well. Okay, this is good, good purchase. But actually one year later or two years later, they don't even touch. Just, you know, getting more dust, dust, dust. And eventually you use piano as furniture. You put a lot of stuff on piano or keyboard. It's just over there. Beginners, they don't know. They might keep continuing learning piano or keep joining that musician journey or just to stop learning. So if you buy acoustic piano, even upright piano, it takes some space. You don't do anything. It's not even easy to move or sell. But at least in the keyboard, if you don't like it, you know, just you can give it to someone else easily or sell it easily or donate easily. Also digital piano, including hybrid piano. You can adjust the volume so you can practice anytime. But the acoustic piano, if you're living with someone else and if you practice, especially as a beginner, you might, you might bother, okay. And acoustic piano, usually very limited location to place it because it's a big guy. So maybe you have to put, like a grand piano, you have to put it in the living room. That means you practice and do your music, which is a very personal thing with others. When I was young, my piano was in my room. It was upright piano though. I didn't bother others. Also, they didn't bother me when I practiced, which means I could focus really well. But I see so many students, they have piano in their living room or dining room. So it's very limited, but keyboard, you can put whatever you want. For beginners, I don't care brand or size, or if you care about the color, I don't care, I don't care. Just, I only care weighted keys. I absolutely don't recommend to buy that very thin light keys for begin, even for beginners. Because weighted keys, that means the keys have weight. So it's not really, really perfectly same feeling than you play acoustic piano, but close, very close to feel the playing real keys with the weight. It's more expensive and heavier than unweighted keys, but 
absolutely it's worth it. And second thing is strong stand, keyboard stand. Well, there are so many different kinds of stands out there. So you can get anything, whatever you want, but not this. Because they are single legs, which means they don't support enough for weighted keys. So if you have a small or light keyboard, it's fine, probably fine. But for the weighted keys, they don't support enough. I've seen many people's keyboard stand is going lower and lower and eventually it breaks. So if you're buying new one, then just don't get the single legs X stand. How about X stand or H stand? I would say H stand. This guy has more leg room, which is, you would appreciate it. You're welcome. And last, bench. Do I really need the keyboard bench, what they offer? It's not really need need, but if you can get it, absolutely yes, for your posture. If you sit, especially as a beginner, if you're sitting on that normal desk chair with swivel and with armrest, where's your posture as a pianist? Beginners, we gotta make a good posture. Sit tall and open your shoulder and play piano, always. And Piano Bench will help you to have that posture. So I put a link to some, you know, my recommended beginner keyboard in the description if you want to check them out. How about you? What did you use as a beginner? Do you think it was good for you? Or do you wish you started with something else? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Oh, by the way, I'm Senga Nuna.